I'm excited for this video because I've been waiting a couple of weeks for this little fuse to come in. In this video, let's blow it up. If you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, and share. If you haven't yet watched my fuse test video a couple of weeks ago, go ahead and watch that first. This is going to be part two. We tested some of these very inexpensive, cheap blade type fuses. These little guys did break the circuit, but there was a, a good arc that came out from them. <laughs> Can be a problem, uh, as Liam uh, pointed out. And it is a sealed fuse rated by the manufacturer up to 80 volts DC. Here's what I'm trying to figure out. Do I uh, replace all these fuses with this one? And at the same time that I do that, I would move all these fuses from the bus bar location. I would take down the batteries, rewire this so that the fuses themselves are up at the positive terminals because that would protect these wires. And that made a lot of sense. So quite a few of you guys made that suggestion because I have eight positive terminals. So I need inline fuse holders, which is what these are. And this little blade type fuse might work, but we're going to test this thing. Now this was an expensive fuse. This was six and a half dollars plus five dollars for shipping. The other option, I could move the inverter a little bit and right up in this location, I could put in a DIN rail with a, a, a series of circuit breakers. I could have eight circuit breakers for the eight positive leads before they go over to the bus bar. If it trips, well, I just reset it. It's simple. It doesn't cost me, again, to buy more fuses. So there's some positive parts to that DIN rail circuit breaker idea. Uh, the one downside of it is that these wires would still be mm, unprotected. Now, what's that level of risk? I'm not sure. Uh, you know, because we're only talking about a few feet of wire between the positive terminal and where the circuit breakers would be. So those are the two options and I would love it if you guys could weigh in. So here's the new fuse. Now according to the manufacturer, this has a high temperature thermoplastic casing. It's filled and sealed with an arc quenching material, <laughs> whatever that is. But it is rated for 80 volts DC. Let's go ahead and put this in, the circuit breaker's off. Okay, you guys, you ready? We're gonna pop this fuse, here we go. That's it, kind of unexciting. <laughs> now, on the side of this, I, I saw just the faintest bit of little red light. This fuse does really get in there. And everything looks the same on the outside. I'm going to put up some pictures now where you can see the difference. Well, clearly this little fuse is safer than this one. Option one, flip all the wires around, put in a 80 volt DC rated fuse. Option two, put in a DIN rail with circuit breakers. So go ahead and, and weigh in and hopefully in an upcoming video, we're gonna see the safety upgrades to this system. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.